Hello guys, um, there are still some confusions re regarding uh, Go modules and Go packages. So I thought I will quickly go through a, a, an explanation and use the existing code base that we have in the course for demonstrating um, the use of packages. So if you go to the course Git repository, you will see that we have three projects. We have puzzles, hello world and hello jokes. Um, and puzzles is a, a very simple module. Um, you can recognize that it's a module because it has go mod uh, as in the top level folder. Um, and you don't have any other subfolders, which means everything here will have to be in the main package because we have our executable main <coughs> Uh, in the package main and by the rule that a single folder in Go can only have one package, you will realize that all those other source files will also declare that they are in the package main. So it's a very simple structure, which means you have all your Go sources here and then by convention, we call the entry point um, usually from a file called main Go but we don't have to do that. It can be in any of those uh, other two Go files. Uh, you would have a main function and then that would be the entry point. If I didn't have the main.go, I wouldn't know if the main entry is here or in a test. Well, I could guess that it's not in the test, so it has to be here. But if I had more files, I would not know which one has the main function. So to quickly find an entry point to my application, it's good to have this sort of a main file that is obvious that, I mean, you can misuse it, of course, you cannot have main here, but you know, that would be silly. So normally you have main in the main go and then everything else in, is in the main folder, uh, main package. And then your the actual project, the actual module is not called main, uh, the package is called main, but the module is called puzzles. And the module name usually reflects the folder in which the project lives or the, the path in your repository. So we have um, the, you know, the name puzzles and that's the name of the module. So you could infer it's similar here. So hello world will be hello world module. Um, and in fact, if we go to go mod, we will see that yes, it is called hello world. Again, that's by convention, the relationship between the packages and the folder names in Go is very flexible. You can, but you don't have to keep it the same. For example, in Java, the relationship is enforced and the package name and the folder names, the hierarchy needs to match. In Go, that's not the case. Your folder names uh, don't have to match your package names but the rule that a single folder only has one package stays. So here we have a module called hello world. And if I go to utils, uh, you will realize that it declares some functionality in the package hello world. Okay. So here we have, we have to have at least two packages if we read that, because to have an executable, we have to have a package main. Um, so this is what this folder is for. Um, this folder is a, a se second package that I have in my project. Uh, and that will have um, package main and the function main. So you may ask why this is not called main. Like you just said that keep main function in the main.go. Well, the reason is that um, again, by convention, um, we have a situation here where I have my main module and main package in the top level and I have some functionality in the top level. And now I need to have an executable. If I placed it here, I would only be able to have one executable because uh, I mean, we, we could have multiple executables here as well. Uh, but by convention, in if you want to have just one executable, you would place it here and you would call it main.go. Uh, but if you are planning to have multiple executables, then by convention again, 
we create a command folder and then we keep all the package main in the command folder and we name the files as we would like to have the executable to be called because when you build them when you say um, so if I go to this project so if I go uh, go uh, CD hello world and I say go build command hello world what it will do it it will build a executable for me which is called hello world yes I could call it main but then I wouldn't know what it is like all my executables would be called main so to distinguish different executables again by convention we keep them named hello world right and you see here that I have a generated executable called hello world from the go build this particular executable right if we go back to puzzles so if I go back to puzzles and remember in puzzles I have all the go code and my main in this place look what will happen if I say go build this folder so I don't have modules I, I have a module single module I don't have additional packages I have everything in a single package called main uh, so if I say go build dot um, my executable is not called main even though the file is called main but go is smart enough to recognize that um, the module name is called puzzles and I only have one executable and it names the executable puzzles right so you see the conventions of how to, you organize your code and your structure are recognized by the build tools and they name things as you would expect um, so in the pack in the project where you have everything in a single folder like we have here um, I have a single module and that single module uh, so go mod that single module is called puzzles and if I say build me this module and I don't have any additional subfolders or any additional commands and I only have one executable one entry point the output name is puzzles it's kind of intuitive um, but if I go to the other folder um, hello hello world in this one we have two packages we have a package called hello world which lives in the top level and we have a package main which lives in command um, and then I have to somehow instruct because I can have multiple um, executables inside the command I can have multiple entry points here and then when I'm building them uh, go lang needs to name them somehow and then I only have one module which has only one name and the command is not really a name uh, and the package they live in is called main so calling things main is yeah weird so golang compiler needs to come up with a name and it will effectively take the name of the file that you have here so it will name the exec executable the, the way you have it you have it here um, so this is those two um, so the puzzles and hello world provide you two typical templates of how you organize your your project so puzzles is for simple projects where you only have a couple of files you know small amount of functionality and you want one executable uh, it's not the library usually it's just a, a single executable uh, and you um, you could have it as a library plus an executable single executable if your project grows and you want to isolate some logical building blocks uh, what you can do is you can extract the executables outside especially if you need two for example you want a client and a server and sometimes you're running a client sometimes you're running a server then you will need two executables then you will follow the hello world pattern where you have all the logic here and then your executables in command if this logic grows even further and you would like to logically organize it like you have multiple files and they do different things for different purposes maybe you want to introduce um, more encapsulation within the package so then what would you do is and I will do it um, I will do it in the top level so I will create a folder called hello packages 
let's use use a dash to uh, make the name a little bit stand up more i will go there uh, hello packages and now you know i have some logic uh, and the logic becomes too difficult to hold in a single top level package so then i would like to have multiple packages so if i for example want to have um, tools i would make another folder make their tools and then i will make another folder folder called uh, maybe i have to do some um, calculations so i will call it calc all right so now i have two folders and those will become my two packages um i if i if i am planning only single executable i can keep this executable here right um i need to initialize my module and i need to call it somehow so i will say go mod in it uh how did we call it uh hello packages all right so now um i have a new package so i have go mod here and depending how many executables you plan to have if i'm planning to have only one executable i will keep my main go here um, so i can vim main.go let's do this um, so it kind of initializes a, a, a template for having a main function and in my main function i will do two things so i will first I will first obtain uh, some numbers from tools. So I will uh, get a uh, and called tools get number. Okay, and B tools get number, number. And then um, I will do some calculations with those tools and I will get C, which is calculations and i will add and a and b all right so i have a very simple logic and now i need to import the additional uh packages that i'm gonna use right so i'm gonna say import and those packages live in my module and my module is called hello packages so all you do is you prefix import hello packages and calc right so now i have um my import statements which is a prefix which is my module name with the package names which those packages live in um, so i will save it of course it will not build yet because i haven't written the logic i only have two empty folders tools and calc and I need to actually initialize those packages there. Because I'm gonna work with a larger project, uh, I could use Vim, but I'm more um, productive if I have a, a proper bigger IDE. So what I will do is I will open um, code. So with code, um, I will see my structure um, and I will see how they relate with each other. So I have calc, tools, and I have main. Um, <clears throat> and calc, all right, so there was an update. I need to update my tools. Yeah, sorry for that. I didn't use um, Visual, Co Visual Studio Code today. So while it's doing it, uh, let's have a look here. So we, uh, we have those two which are effectively calc and tools. Um, in calc, we need a new file. So we will call it, um, um, yeah, let's call it just fun for functions. And for tools, I will also need a new file and I will call it, um, um, user input.go all right it doesn't matter what those names are because your package inherits the name from the uh, folder it's in so for user input 
uh, we will say that we live in a package tools um, and then we need to export one function which uh, we need in, in Go, which is um, from tools we, we need a function which is get number. Okay, uh, it doesn't matter. Like I'm, I'm just doing it for the user input for the sake of demonstrating it. So um, we need a func which is get input which doesn't take any parameters and returns us an int. Um, and remember that those the functions that you want your package to export should have a capital letter and also they should have a comments. Uh, so get input returns a random input to the caller. Uh, and we just return a very random number, which is 42. Okay. Uh, so we have our tools package implemented. And now we need to implement the fun package. So we'll, oops, sorry. So we will say package fun. And here again, we need a public function, which is called add. And it adds to integers. And the function is add. And we have a and b, which are integers. And then it returns an integer and we say return a plus b. So um, we have now two packages called calc and tools, third package, which is called main and package main uses the calc and tools packages from our hello packages module. Uh, and now if I try to build it, so if I say code, no, not code, uh, go build, build me that module. Um, it says tools get number is undefined and we have an undefined calc. So let me investigate what went wrong. So first, what is my go? My module is called hello packages, which is fine. Um, tools get number is not known. Um, <laughs> tools user input package tools um, get number. All right, so that was the mistake we did. All right, so that should get rid of the first problem. Uh, and then hello packages calc as fun undefined calc main line 13. Let's check that line 13 calc add. Um, so let's see what our package fun. Yeah, that was our mistake is our package is not called fun. Our package is called calc. Excellent. So we had two bugs already in like so trivial program. So you see programming is super hard. Like mm, if you're doing anything more complex than that, imagine how many bugs I would get there. All right. So if we do that, uh, we still have one bug. We have undeclared C. Uh, I mean, we do have declared C, but we never used it. So let's go to main and let's print it. So instead of hello world, we say, so let's say print the packages work, the out, the calculation is and then we present the value with the new end new line character and we print C. So now we don't have this um, problem of C being not used. Let's build it. And then if it builds, we check what is the executable name as with the previous first case, the executable name will be called as your module. So our module is called hello packages and that's what our executable uh, generated executable name is. If I run it, um, you know, the packages work, the calculation is 84. So now we have it going and we have fixed the problems and we have all the references working well. 
So I can import all the functions from calc and I can import all the functions from tool. Um, the, the package can be split into multiple files. So a package calc can have more than just fun functions. It can have types or other whatever logical structure, or whatever you want to split it in this folder. And as long as they are all in the calc package and as long as they export the public API through the capital letters, uh, it will work. Um, usually, um, if you need to define some structs or types, uh, it is usually again by convention, you can call uh, file types and define all the types that you need to work with. And then you use some functionality or some functions in the additional files. But the way you organize your packages, it's entirely up to you. Uh, the way you organize your structure, it's a little bit uh, template based. So as I was saying, you, you have now three examples. Um, I will commit this. Um, so let's see git status. Let's see what we did here. We uh, so git at interactive and let's see, we need to add uh, two, two to six. All right, so let me commit this. Example package structure with single executable and multiple packages. All right, so we will push it and then I will be able to show you the three templates. Yes, I don't have the. Oh, yeah, git pull first. All right. So we have to merge it. All right. Uh, that sounds good. We push our changes now. So there was a merge request, which I merged in uh, GitLab for tests on in puzzles. And that's why I was a little bit behind the, the upstream in, in GitLab. So now if I go back, uh, you will have three templates. So the puzzles is the, the sim uh, simplest one. Um, let's refresh. Yes. Uh, puzzles is the simplest one. Everything is single folder. You don't have any subfolders. You have one giant main module, uh, main package, and then you have a, a you know a single module. Uh, every time the top level thing is a single module. Um, so in puzzles you have a single package, main, everything in one place. In Hello World you want multiple executables, so you keep your logic in the top level folder. And then you keep your executables in the command. So all the main package files are here. All your logic is here. And then the executables are named after the names of your, of your files here. Right? Um, so in the first case, we name the entry point usually main, but everything is in, in flat hierarchy. And then in the final template, in Hello Packages, you have two packages called Calc and Tools. You have one single module. God mod or Go mod is living only in the top level. And then the executable name, uh, which we committed by mistake, which uh, you will need to remove, uh, will be named after your module name. And then usually the executable lives in the file called main.go. But you know, you don't have to do that. But it, is kind of a logical way of organizing your your code. So if you need more logic here, then but it will be all in package main because the the main function needs to be in package main, and then the the package main will import all the other functionality that it needs to use, and then you just refer to it via the 
uh, prefix from the package names. You can have nested packages. So in tools, I can have subfolders and then I will have more than one level of, um, of nesting. So then you, you slash and then you have the follow-up nest. Uh, you always refer here by the last element. So the last name becomes the kind of the reference name that you use for your packages. Um, I, I didn't have a situation where I really needed a nested packages, but if it logically makes sense to have kind of a top level name space for some smaller types or smaller things that you want to use, uh, then yeah, by all means you should, you should go with that. All right. So I hope this is, um, giving you some hints of how to deal with the different projects. And you can pick which template kind of suits your project. So if you have a very small project, uh, you probably just go with the uh, with the simple setup of the puzzles, uh, where everything lives in a single main package. If you want to expose something to external world, because exposing things in a package main makes no sense. Like you need to expose it into a package which people can refer to. Um, so. Then uh, what you can do is you can um, create your own package and push the, the main executable to a command or some other folder. And then you can expose your, the logic, the library with the sum of the functions that you want to expose to your other parts of the system or something else. Then you can, if, if the complexity of your code is small, you can use this pattern. So such that you have everything in a single package and you only push the package main to a subfolder. But if your complexity grows and you envision that you're gonna have multiple packages, then you just go with the with the hello packages and you know create as many packages as you see fit with nesting, and then you keep your main here. Or if you want to have multiple executables, then you mix this pattern with the command and name the tools, the, the executables with the uh, file names in such a way that you will have multiple main entry points and multiple names to generate multiple tools for yourself. Uh, and then you move this under the command folder, right? I hope it makes sense. And I hope it kind of explains um, the organization of your, um, of your assignments and of your goal projects. Thanks.